Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this video we're going to have to help out our EVE mega station, which is currently on its way to EVE and seems to have enough Delta V to capture into orbit, but after that is basically spent and it doesn't have enough fuel for the return vehicle for the tourists. It was supposed to be able to send the tourists back home and that is not possible because we've drained those tanks in order to feed the main tanks on the station so that it can capture. So we need to add a fuel module to the station and we're going to take advantage of the senior docking port. Unfortunately we don't have the larger sized um, probodobodines. We are going to need a uh, core here but maybe this is a time to use a service bay um, if we have the right size. Yes we do. So we're going to have a service bay to fit the core in so that it doesn't look too awkward. I don't usually use the service bays because they're just dead mass. And then we're going to put a whole bunch of fuel, but also I want a whole docking hub. I think it'd be a good idea to have a docking hub now. Do we have the full, uh, the, not full way actually, it's a six way. Yeah, yes we do. There's the hub multi-point connector and we've got the standard adapter so we do some deal like this and we have a whole bunch of the others and then we gotta make a mega mega station out of it <laughs> basically uh, so this will all go in a fairing okay so a hub and we'll go ahead and put some significant fuel tank on that seems good okay so that's a lot of RCS and if we just take a look at this center of mass, that's there. So we'll put, I think for this, maybe one kilonewton. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. One kilonewton thrusters. And we'll have some lights for our docking ports. We'll, we'll have four illuminators, full, full steam sort of deals. Make it a very pale sort of glow here. Yeah, just a slight blue tint. I feel like they should poke up a little bit more so that they can extend to the rest of the station. I mean, right now they're casting up there too, so as long as they're not completely blocked, they could probably do a good job. Let's see, maybe a cubic, cubic octagonal strut. Like we may or may not put it all in a fairing. I might just put a nose cone on top. This shouldn't be too bad. So now that's uh, sort of looks like an Agena kind of thing. Uh, weirdly, uh, 1,828 meters per second. But we're going to have to expect that a lot of that is just getting to the Eve station. I wasn't impressed by our launch vehicle last time but okay let's say this is Eve station tank and let's see what we can do with the Eve mega station launcher somebody suggested Dsiski suggested that uh, the imbalance was due to the aerodynamic forces of this particular mark II fuselage being reversed and that's possible Another thing, there's a subtle difference between the mass of the Communitron HG55 and this magnetometer boom. That's also possible. But it went sideways this way. It didn't go sideways that way. That would have been a pitch situation. Uh, it went heading, so it makes sense that it would be this part instead. Um, yeah, well, anyway, I mean, the launcher could work a little bit better considering we are not going to have something this unwieldy. This is uh, quite a contraption. How heavy was this? 56 tons basically. This is only 45 tons so it's not going to have as much of a burden initially. Now we could use a, uh, one of those engine plates in this case. I'm not too worried. I mean the, the tank butt here uh, in the bottom of this isn't I don't want to see it anyway. <laughs> Sometimes the bottoms uh, are a little bit more detailed. Is there anything else we can tuck in here? Maybe instead of all these little batteries we can have a more efficient battery? That's 880. Uh, that's the equivalent to the charge of 10 of these. 
It still costs more though. Um, but at least the mass is the same. So, tell you what. We'll put just one of these. Uh, two of these. And go like that. Anything else we could put in? It feels like we're underutilizing this a little bit. We could put the lights on pistons. Let's see. How well would that work out? How expensive are they? 150. How much is the cubic octagonal strut? 16 only. But then again, we were sparing no expense on this particular station. So there's that. So, target extension. I mean, it could be good. I assume we can do that with the robotics control without using that special part the Cal 1000. I can control the extension from outside without that, right? I haven't used these parts at all. Well, okay, not not at all, but I haven't used them enough to be comfortable with them, and I don't remember how all the things work exactly. So, we're gonna see. I'll just experiment with that for now, and see if I understand that. And maybe, maybe we do need the Cal 1000. So, do we think that the main sails can control this this time? Well, last time we sure needed auto strutting. So I'm gonna go heaviest part here. That's the heaviest part? Well, I guess they're, uh, they're all jumbo fuel tanks. This uh, to root part. It's tall and feels wiggly. But it didn't actually kill the last thing we launched on this mainsail heavy. So maybe it'll work out again. Well, it's not immediately wiggling, so that's good. SAS on, throttle is up. And, well, we might as well launch. Launch! Okay, well, it was smooth, so I think it was the aerodynamic parts causing problems. They probably, uh, not just the reverse one, but just the fact that they were there probably brought the center of lift too high. Okay, booster set. It occurs to me now that the only reaction we, will, we, we have on this tank is that on the hex core. So this thing is gonna turn really badly without the RCS. Fortunately we do have the RCS, so there is that. Okay, nose cone is away and we are slowly drifting down, so let's make orbit, but we really, oh god, it's coming back. Okay, we really can't turn very well with just that tiny little reaction wheel. So, a light bit of mainsail gimbling is necessary. And this time we sure as heck aren't gonna rush the transfer. Big mistake with the main station mission. Still checking on that tank, it seems we're good. Alright, uh, can I extend the pistons? I should just action group that. Do we even have the extra action groups? I'm not sure. Um, oh, looks like that, that works, so I can do that target extension. Alright, they're extended. And let's extend the solar panels. First use of robotics! I wonder if we could intercept the station beforehand. Well, we've got a nice little encounter there. See, that's what I should have done with the other one. Instead, I created a mess out of it. Um, well, anyway. We'll uh, get that going as it is right now, and then see what corrections we need to do. Okay, let's once again keep a close eye on that tank, just in case. I'm now paranoid about things sucking fuel from tanks that they're not supposed to take the fuel from. And go. Okay, separation and ignition. Alright. 
And we have oodles of Delta V with this. Mercifully. Okay, let's see what we've got. We have an encounter, uh, closest approach, but out of curiosity, where is... There's the EVE Mega Station right there. I'm just gonna pass through Moon SOI. But we're going in a very distinctly different direction, which is the direction it should have gone in. And actually, uh, that EVE transfer window is going in the right direction. You see, this EVE Mega Station, because I rushed the burn, it ended up going in this direction, which is not where it needed to go. We probably also need to do a correction burn with EVE Station Tank, but I want to see where EVE Mega Station is ending up at EVE before deciding what to do with the EVE Station Tank. So the plan here... That maneuver doesn't even seem like it's on our orbit. That's not a good sign. Um, is to do this burn. And then capture like that. Well, that's not right either. It should be closer. So let's replot this. Okay, so uh, 470 meters per second and then 132 to capture there. So that's a doable combination. Let's do this first. God, we've got all the things except for just hold the maneuver node. Thanks, Val. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's hope that Delta V reading is proper. It is in fact a radial burn. I guess we should get the magnetometer out just for looks. Oh, well, if we ever run the report, it's just gonna track back in though. Uh, well, that's a lot more inclination than I was looking for. But we can correct that after capturing. So to get a tangency there, that's pretty close right there. We could probably make a gilly encounter out of that. It's weird uh, we're capturing down here, but if that's what it takes, you know. We're not actually supposed to have a gilly encounter though. We don't need to do that. But it'll help trans with transferring the pilots on board if we end up over at Gilly, because that's where the pilots are. I might be going too far again, though. Well, there's a Gilly encounter. I don't know if we'll actually do it or not, but... Alright, we have a plot. To be honest, I don't think our fuel tank is going to end up at that inclination, but let's take a look at it. Well, actually, we could... It seems like we can induce some inclination here after all. It's a bit messy, but we're coming in like that, and EVE Mega Station is coming in like that. If we do this burn. I mean, that's close. We might be able to make something out of that. Alright, let's do this correction. Okay, correction... Well, I gotta say, that looks like a very different orbit. Let's see... And there's not a whole lot we can do to change that right now. I mean, could we get to Gilly? Everything's gotta meet up at Gilly. Anyway, we'll work on that. This is good enough for now. Um, we'll just put that at Periapsis, I think. Okay, to the tracking station so that we can do everything in order. Everything's actually happening pretty close to each other. They're all... they all have their maneuver on the same day it looks like. And... just within hours. There they are. They're all in EVE SOI right now. Okay, let's go to the transfer vehicle. Okay, well there's EVE. We're capturing high, but it doesn't seem to cost that much, so it's it's alright. 
We'll just do the capture and not think about anything else and then because we have to do the other missions and then we'll arrange everything afterwards. Comms seem fine. Currently uh, through EVE Mission 2 Relay. Okay, that maneuver is done. We seem to be in orbit. And we could try for Gilly. Let's see. Well, anyway, I said that I would wait on that. So let's just wait on that. Okay, so next up is our EVE station tank. Let's check our comm lines. Uh... It could be a little bit pro problematic. We're going uh, out to EVESAT 2 there. So maybe we'll do this a little bit earlier than planned. It probably won't be a problem, but just in case. Okay, well, we are in orbit. All is well. It's not encountering anything in particular. Uh, we'll work on that. Next, EVE Mega Station. Now, if we want to preserve the Gilly encounter, we're going to have to do this precisely. Of course, even if we encounter Gilly, there's no guarantee that this thing can capture around Gilly with the Delta V that it has. And go. Oops, a little bit too far. Well, first of all, let's see about the contract. Well, we won't fulfill the contract because we need three Kerbals. I mean, three pilots on board. We've got all the things, but not three pilots. Okay, well, we have a Gilly Periapsis. And that's as close as that's going to get. Let's say I added a maneuver and tried to capture. Yeah, we don't have that much. I mean, it's not... A huge difference. We need 300, but yeah, we don't have that much. So that's interesting. Maybe we can have one of the other two missions intercepted, but let's get the EVE transfer vehicle over to Gilly first, because that's where it's supposed to go. It's supposed to be an un it's supposed to be a satellite first that's around Gilly. But this Transfer vehicle doesn't seem to be even attempting an encounter here. Okay, now we've got something going on there. So what this is, this is telling me is that's our closest approach. The target position is there, so we have to get there faster. Well, we're making it happen. There's an encounter, but... In order to make that encounter, we're actually creating an escape situation. That's not wonderful, but we've got the Delta V, so... Of course, we want the Delta V to do other things as well. Let's see how horrible it makes the capture situation, though. To be on escape like that. Well, that's closer than I want to be to eat, uh, to Gilly anyway. Um, and our orbit is supposed to go around, so we're going around like that is what our goal is. Obviously, an inclination change and other adjustments will need to be made. That's 400 meters per second. Well, once again, it's something we have, though I don't know how much we need for subsequent activities. But let's do this first. So this will be encountering Gilly. If we could have the fuel tank encounter the station ahead of Gilly, then the station can capture around Gilly as well, pick up the tourists and the pilots, and then get back into EVE orbit. Okay, but we have our Gilly encounter. And we are going around the correct side. That's all we need for now. Our station tank is here, and our mega station's all the way back there. We need the station tank to slow down a bit. 
And sometimes it doesn't show me the Delta V at all. <laughs> That's another thing that sometimes happens. Okay, well, we've got a heck of a gap there. I mean, how much would it take to actually force that together? I'd like to uh, bundle something into the inclination change that will allow us to encounter Gilly, but it's not giving me any sign that that's going to happen. The Eve Mega Station has got to meet up with Eve right here. Uh, not Eve, Gilly. And we're going to try and do something with Gilly over here, just ahead. And it doesn't in indicate that we're actually encounter. Oh, now it does. Okay, well, that makes it easier. Let me just finagle something with that. It wasn't showing me this closest encounter. I knew there was something there, but it wasn't showing it to me. Okay, now we have an Eve encounter. Sorry, I keep saying Eve encounter. A Gilly encounter. And what we need to do is catch our mega station at some point. Like, when it's swing by Gilly? I mean, it's a little bit dodgy. It's an interesting thing to propose that we do, but we'll see. I suppose it'll be handy if we are going in the same direction as the other vessel. So roughly like that. Okay, well, not as precise as I like it. Let's get on with it. No, uh, it's wandering. No, don't wander. Ah, uh, come back. We need this to be very precise. Oh, no. I don't have enough, uh, what you got? Control authority to turn. And just using the RCS makes the whole thing wander. Okay, let's see if that's close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay. Oh, no, you can stay off. All right, so... First, we'll try and get this into orbit. The Eve Mega Station will arrive in one day, five hours. The tank is going to arrive in one day, two hours. The transfer vehicle is first. It's there in 15 hours. Well, right there is some other mission. That's Skilly right there. Okay, well, I guess I'll trust the burn time. But how will our comms be? Uh, we seem to have good comms at Periapsis. And... Capture? Well, we don't want that Periapsis to be too low. Uh, yeah. We're still on our way to the descending node, it looks like. But that's uh, by our plot. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I think it still says that's the descending node. So right around here, we'll do all the rest of the business. This is too high to really match that target orbit. Comms are interesting. Hopefully that line is to something useful. Okay, we... I've corrected a bit. Let's try and make sure that's right. There we go. And we just need to pull that the apoapsis down at periapsis. Okay, we've matched the orbit and it accepts it. So we've got that position of satellite and equatorial orbit of Gilly done. And next we need to do whichever one was next. Back to the tracking station. The fuel vehicle, the tank. Okay, the tank is in Gilly SOI, switching to it. Right, retrograde. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time, tank. I think the burn time indicator is lying. Mainly because the delta V indicator is also lying. And it was working before. I don't know why it's not working now. Well, let, let's do an exploratory burn here. 
That doesn't seem like it's gonna take that long. Okay, let's start. Okay, we've captured. So now the fun part. Let's see if we can intercept Eve Mega Station. We set that as a target. It's coming in like that, which is obviously inconvenient. Let's see if Eve Mega Station can do a little bit of work for us here and try and get closer to our current orbit. We're going we are going around this way, so that's fine. Okay, well there we have a tangency point with Eve Station tank. I actually like it a little bit earlier. So that it gives us time. I don't think we're gonna make it as far as trying to keep it in Eve SOI, but we could give it our best shot here. Uh, but we've got a problem where if we get too close, we're gonna be crashing into Gilly. I keep saying Eve SOI instead of Gilly SOI, don't I? Okay. So that would be safe, and there's a fairly low separate. Well, I mean, everything has a low separation in Gilly SOI. So let's make that node. Okay, well, that was basically the plan. Maybe a little bit more. Ah, no, that's probably off. Okay, so now we have to have the E station tank sort of phase with it properly. Two hours. Our orbital period is four hours. Well, that seems like a problem, doesn't it? Um, okay, so we have to bring our orbit down pretty substantially and then it'll work out. I mean, that's 1.6 kilometers right there. Eh, we're getting into tiny fractions of a meter per second, but... Okay, and then we have to do a 293 meter per second burn to match. And then we have to dock with it pretty darn quickly if we want to. So that's 2 hours 26 minutes, and that's 2 hours 27 minutes. So the chances we're going to bring it into orbit around Gilly are dodgy, but let's do this maneuver first. Okay... We'll do the remainder with RCS. Let's take a look at the situation here. Wow. It's touchy. Okay, so that we have a 0.9 kilometer separation. All our communication lines are going that ways. There's Kerbin, so this location is a good place to meet up with it. And it's just one orbit. We're not crashing into anything. Hopefully. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it isn't even in the SOI, and we're pretty close to the node. It's only going to take five minutes to get here. There we go. Well, considering our situation, we had better... Uh, tar that's target neg uh, negative velocity, right? Okay. Go ahead, use all the mod propellant. Okay. Where is it? There it is. Let me wait a little bit. Uh, it looks to me that that's the docking port side over there. Okay, let me just try and manipulate the camera here. Set as target. Okay. Okay, trying to parallelize per usual. This is really dodgy maneuvering though. Well, we are not parallelized, but I can do the old trick where we have this point at that docking port too. And that'll simplify things. We're just about to exit Gilly SOI though. Um, we need to fix roll. Uh, other way. Oh god! What happened? What? 
No way. What? Okay. I'm got I'm got all that for. Whatever happened there, we were not going that fast, so. Okay, loading the save again. What state will things be in? With with the rush to make this happen, I might have missed something. Okay, well this is here. That's there. Okay, well that's a good start. Um where the heck are we though? <laughs> okay. Let's not worry too much about... Okay, it's there. Alright, uh, stop. Let's not worry too much about staying in Gilly SOI. So, we're controlling from here. We want that as our target. Okay, let's point at the target. <laughs> I hope you don't mind the... Uh... Alt F4 redress, but I think it was justified. I don't know. We'll have to review the tape. Okay, we are approaching. We are in Eve SOI now. Maybe the magnetism force was just too high. Let's just cut that down to 50%. Might be safer. Hopefully our solar panels are reasonably lined up. We're a little bit askew in this axis. Okay. And we boinked. We boinked again. Hey, as long as it doesn't explode. Alright, we've docked. Alright, so this is a thing. Now, we need to shut off some of the engines. I, I, I could use these two, but let's not. Control from the pod. And let's try and target Gilly. Nope, uh, set that as a target. And we're just gonna do target negative relative velocity. So we're gonna kill our relative velocity to Gilly and try and encounter it again. We're gonna approach it like a ship. Okay, let's just go towards target. You know how this sort of thing goes. And we see the encounter, the closest approach distance there. Oh no, I wanted that node. Yes. Okay, I think I've given enough relative velocity here. I just don't really want to crash into Gilly. Let's let's get that gilly. That's a pretty quick gilly encounter. And I've used a lot of fuel though. And we were supposed to save some for the return vessel. Okay, well we obviously don't want to have that happen exactly. Okay. So that's step one. Step two is capturing. How heavy is this now? Um, let's focus back on the vessel. 54 tons, 117 parts, incidentally. Honestly, we really want the station over here. Not in EVE orbit, but contracts are contracts. Okay, well, everything is in orbit around Gilly. I'm gonna leave this right here sort of a high lopsided orbit, but now we have other work to do. We need to get those three pilots on here. We've got uh, two pilots already. We just need one pilot and then the two the two tourists. And that will fill uh, the Explorer Eve contract by transferring crew. We'll have to get, well, oh gosh, we have to transfer a crew between vessels near Eve. And it's near Eve. Oh, we'll figure something. Oh, gosh. Uh, we shouldn't have gotten this into orbit around Gilly at all. <laughs> oh, geez. All right, I'll have to think about it. But anyway, we've got to start here. And it's very nice to have all this around Eve, around Gilly, either way. Uh, so, yep. Yep. Oh, there's a stupid module. Well, that's Ike. 
All right. So much to do. So much to do. All right. So we'll see how all this shapes up in the next videos. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.